Hello everyone, welcome back to Radiology Med Easy, your all-time favorite YouTube channel. Let's see today's case. So, this is the image of today's case. First, go through it and come to your own diagnosis. Then, we will continue with the case discussion. Hello everyone, this is case number 9 of RS series in radiology. Our patient today is 62 year old male patient presented with chronic cough and low grade fever. So this is the frontal chest radiograph of a skeletal mature male patient. So actually of this patient. So you can see abnormality over the left upper zone here. This area. So that's a cavitatory lesion, the relatively thick wall here, yeah. cavity you can see, so there's a cavity and uh, there are surrounding ground glass opacities here, yeah, here, yeah, here yeah. and focal area of consolidation also there with the abronchogram. So ground glass opacification is there, consolidation is there with the abronchogram. And you can see some reticular opacities, they are more likely fibrotic changes and no hyla masses and uh, rest of the lung fields appear normal. The hyper expanded uh, right lung field which can be compensatory. Slight deviation of trachea is seen to the left side. So that denotes there's a slight volume loss in this region or left upper zone and no cardiomegaly, no pleural effusions, no pneumothorax and uh, right paratrachea stripe normal uh, underlying bones are also normal no significant elevation of the diaphragms so in this case the diagnosis is TB fibrocavitatory disease TB fibrocavitator disease with uh, active infection also there active infection is also there or post primary TB with active infection because there are consolidations so we can think of active infection cavity is a uh, post primary TB uh, presentation so differential diagnosis for these kind of lesions are uh, Sometimes uh, malignancy, lung CA can present like this, uh, especially uh, squamous cell carcinoma type. And uh, second one also uh, deposits, deposits like uh, secondary deposits also from squamous cell carcinoma can present uh, as uh, multiple cavitate lesions and uh, sometimes uh, infection other infections can cause cavity pneumatocele formation in step aureus can get and also multiple septic emboli emboli causing abscesses septic emboli causing abscesses in, in infective endocarditis so these are uh, few differential diagnosis for cavity formation in the lungs so in the then you have to go for a hrct chest or if there's a sorry lesion then you have to go for a contrast nct for the chest to exclude any underlying malignancies that's important when there's a cavity lesion you need to measure the thickness of the wall in a cavity if it is thick wall then it's more towards malignancy and uh, so that concludes today's case number 9 of RS series. So please subscribe our YouTube channel then you will get notifications of our new videos. And in the meantime you can comment on our videos. Thank you everyone. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe for more videos like this.